Laws of indices involving fractions or decimals. Now if you've got an indice that involves a fraction or a decimal, it is the exact same process as normal. These laws still apply, it just looks trickier. I'll give you some demonstrations still. Now we've got the law of indices for the first question here. So for the first question we've got y to the power of 2 over 7 multiplied by y to the power of 3 over 7. Now we know it's going to be y to the power of something. The law says we add these two powers, which is 2 over 7 add 3 over 7 which equals 5 over 7. So our answer will be y to the power of 5 over 7. We've got the law of indices for the second question here. We've got x to the power of 0.75 divided by x to the power of 0.25. So we know it's going to be x to the power of something. Well, we've got 0.75, 0.25. If we write that out, 0.75, take away 0.25 equals 0.5. So our answer will be x to the power of 0.5. Here are eight questions for you to have a go with. The pink questions are trickier. The laws of indices are in the box in the bottom. Pause the video to give these a go. The answers will be on screen for you in a moment. And here are the answers. I hope you did really well with them. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, click that like button. Click the subscribe one to get notified of new videos. Other than that, stay safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video.